Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Nate, and what I'm creating today is a sort of guided ritual, guided focus, guided intention setting. And when I say guided, I just mean very loosely. You're always in control. You know what's best for you. So... Hopefully this is a support that you can kind of make your own. But we're going to be focusing on abundance and love. Giving love, receiving love, and love is one of those very um, tiny big words. Because when I say love, I mean it in the the most foundational sense, as in a building block, as in good, as in freedom, as in generosity, as in resources, as in experiences, as in healing and self-love and self-acceptance, as in our relationships, our families, our appreciation, our gratitude, and as in the core of us, the core of our being, it's really easy to get distracted from that, misaligned to it. It's really easy for something else to come in and kind of take over. So we want to reconnect with that channeling, yes, to receive, but also to fill ourselves so much that we get to a point where we can just send it out and you're just in this nexus space, this point of dualistic energies and movement and force where you receive everything you need and you channel out supporting the collective as well. We're going to begin with a candle. Right. This is handcrafted. <laughs> Put a lot of intention and love into this candle already. And it has a really interesting, although I don't think for everyone, smell of Himalayan cedar, so a very resiny sort of smell. And I'm using this candle with the correspondence of it to support those themes, to support the divine nature of love and abundance. Honoring that within you. On behalf of the highest and greatest good and perfect comfort, perfect alignment. Supporting your abundant nature. The love you can cultivate, the love you can direct, the love you receive. And again, love is such an elemental word here, so think of that in any form you wish if you'd like to be a little more specific. You can think about money, you can think about relationships, you can think about self-love or a parenting of self-love. You can use this to work with the abundance of your, um, like, body's abilities. Let me say that differently. The myriad workings of your body behind the scenes. You can think of it as your creativity, inspiration, 
blessings, generosities. But just set your intention to channel for yourself, but for the collective at large, you as this nexus point between two worlds, between two divine um, spaces or um, bases, matter and pattern. I want to set an intention for you to receive all that would support you, of course, but also the rich understanding, the rich, rich, rich connection of what makes you happy, what inspires you, what moves you, what drives you, what motivates you. The core of why you're doing this, you may feel called to do things and course, right? But sometimes we need to really connect with the bigger picture of why so we can really tune into that universal abundance so we can reap these rewards. Not that it's about that, but it is a beautiful byproduct of it as you are in your truth. Okay, and if you want to set your own Please do. Send it in to the glow, to the light, to the warmth. Okay. Okay, we're going to begin with a little gentle smoke. Just working through your energy fields. Just cleansing, just preparing. Focus on your auric field, bright, just blasting out anything that is not true, any sticky energy that doesn't belong to you, any inhibiting facade or manipulation, just blast it out, clear to clear to clear. Clearing your inner vision. Clearing your senses so you can really feel how abundant, how attuned, how connected you are and have always been. Reawaken those senses. Can you use these scissors? away that again inhibits or misaligns, disconnects you from your truly abundant nature. Any falseness of lack, any fear of success, any belief that money makes you a bad person or that love only hurts, <laughs> whatever it is, we're pulling it away. So there's a real limitless sense that we feel. So we can feel that euphoric sort of connection when we remember who the F we are.
squeezing this angel hair quartz or golden rutilated quartz. We're just gonna pull it through from over your head down through your body, clearing the channel within you. Sweeping away any residuals from what we cut, what we released, what we've cleared, and realigning, reconnecting to that like limitless point, limitless connection between matter and you, and pattern and you, and you. Beautiful deity, this God working between these forces, tuning into these forces, building worlds through these forces, fulfilling your soul, contributing to the collective, discovering yourself. golden line you could visualize through yourself running deep down into the center of the earth and up, 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 up to the cosmos Just remember A fertilizer or some nutrients or something that feeds that connection, feeds that tapped in euphoric understanding space that hopefully you might feel yourself in. And we're gonna channel through. fertile nature, heightening all of that and bringing it through the experience so it is palpable. You are perceived as an abundant person. You are perceived as one who is full of love, who easily connects with love. And it's not so much, of course, but other people think of us, but it's felt, it's experienced, it's shared. Someone with that complete self-love, confident, confidence, excuse me. Someone who embodies self-forgiveness. Someone who embodies self-worth. Someone who holds perfect boundaries for themselves. Visualize this channel, this pillar, this space running from your crown, the top of your head, through your skull, through your neck, through this 
spinal column. See it shining in gold and see it growing green. Viney plants, grass or moss, just gems. Whatever comes to mind for you. Fortifying as we command your higher self to fortify and fertilize this abundance within you, this love, this limitlessness. May it grow and continue to grow and blossom and bloom like a beautiful garden. A garden so rich able to share a garden so abundant you never worry if you'll have enough flowers or herbs or vegetables or fruits it is richer or as rich or richer than your imagination or as your imagination as your desire is your fulfillment. I'm going to cover you. Surround you. This very loving you feel when you're grateful. Tune into that, your appreciation for anything and build on it. For the gorgeous blue sky, for the comfort of your bed, for the warmth in your shower, for fresh laundry or a cool breeze at the right moment, whatever you could find to appreciate, build on it and build on it and build on it, add to it and add to it, and let that emotion wash over you. Let it nurture your garden of abundance and love. Tuning in. Connect with it and let the waves wash over you. Okay, that's a wave. Smile after smile. Peace and peace, peace upon peace. Softening your brow, rubbing your temples, your jaw. Down. Limp your neck and throat. Okay. I'm going to be using this Lumerian pink quartz. And we're going to 
focus on your love. If you're able to place a hand on your heart or simply focus on your heart space, and we're going to really empower this to wave out, to cause this like ripple effect, this glowing orb, this dawn, this big bang, I don't know, however you want to think of it. I don't want to put words in your mouth here. We're going to focus on channeling through to your heart space as you focus on your heart space. This space of your desires, this space of your soul connection, this perfect nexus point as you are a nexus channel between intellect, and earth between consciousness and atoms moving through and glowing, glowing beaming and beaming highlighting this field commanding your heart field Overwhelm, comfortably overwhelm your space to take over here to fill your entire auric field and beyond the entire room you're in and beyond. your abundant and limitless nature and we are at this point commanding declaring you as a magnet a channel a portal of love and everywhere you go love is felt whether that's in peace whether that's in calm whether that's in validation whether that's money people hitting jackpots from the residual vibe you give off things working out for people people finding resources, connections people self-healing loving themselves, their inner child work all because of you all because of what you carry all because of the key you hold And as you do this, as you hold this, as you just be yourself and go about it and focus on love and focus on what's beautiful and focus on potential, focus on resiliency, focus on passion, focus on justice, on righteousness, whatever. And it's wonderful to navigate from that place. I really believe it's so very important to live in authenticity, but live as well in a way that still embodies always your divine nature. Not that you have to be perfect, not that you have to be a saint, you don't have to be Mother Teresa, but just where you remember. You have a power, that you are a power, that there are forces, that there are laws, that there are beautiful boundaries to work within to support you navigating this path. Don't feel powerless ever, okay? You're so powerful. So now, Just 
be. Let it all come to you. Let it wash over you again. of knowing that you are everything that you have, everything, everything you could have ever wanted is in this life experience for you. Moving, becoming a parent, becoming a mentor, connecting with friends and mentors, building a business, Creating some art, finding more ways to connect with yourself, discovering things of you, developing fun, laughter, joy, your connection to all that is. to hold it or contain it, you receive abundantly, limitlessly, bottomless, and you send it out and more comes to you, and you send it out and more comes to you, and you share and more comes to you, and you teach and you lighten. Very much love to you, sweet one.